what we're going to do is because it's early in the morning, and I hate early in the morning, but I love my coffee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need some volunteers. And I'm actually going to pick them because I'm usually the people in the seat that just uh, hate to be bothered this early in the morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick you, and I'm going to pick you looking down, trying not to be picked. Come on up. Come on up. All right. What we have here is this is the most popular form of reagent-based testing that's done on the street. This is called the NIC Public Safety, the Narcotics Identification System. Doesn't it sound really wonderful? And what it is is a color metric test. This is what they do when they stop someone uh, on the side of the road. Now, I'm going to ask, let's do this. Ask you, and this is just uh, coffee from my from my room. You hold on. Oop, you got that. Got just hold on to that, and you hold on to that. Okay. Uh, would you do me a favor? Would you raise your right hand? Raise your right hand. Okay. Repeat after me. I'm gonna put you under oath. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. I do. Okay. It's waiting on you. All right. Okay. You can put your hand down. All right. Do you right now, under the penalty of perjury, are you in possession? of marijuana. Are you? I would say that I do not think I'm an impotent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lawyer. Not uh, that I'm aware of, yeah. Not that you're aware of, okay. Is it marijuana? Take a look at it. It just came right out of this package. You saw me open it. Is it marijuana? No. Okay. All right. So with what I'm going to do here is take this kit, and it's, it's a color-based reagent test kit. It's based upon three ampules and the way that different things that are there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to follow the exact directions that are there. As you can see, there's nothing in here whatsoever. And I'm just going to get some air introduced in there. I'm going to flap the darn thing over. I'm going to follow the directions on the, on the uh, thing that's here. And why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you read out loud the directions that are right there so everyone can see that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Right left ampule, agitate one minute. What's the next step so that way we can? Right middle ampule, mm -hmm. wait for color. Right right ampule, no <coughs> color transfer to lower layer. Okay. So we're agitating it. And the point of it is that this is, like I said, probably the most popular form of testing that's going out on the street whenever you have a solid drug dose. There's ones for marijuana, there's specialized ones for different things that people run into. Heroin, um, that's there. So now we're going to hit that middle one, OK? Wait for the color to develop, right? That's what it says. And then the last one, that's there, OK? As you can see, it's kind of this tingy, and I'll pass it around so everyone can see it. This is, this is a negative. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's a, it's a blondish type of color that's there. You can see because they want to make it really easy for street cops to know, purple means bad stuff, means marijuana, means that you, that you got it there. So I'm going to pass this around. Okay, so now this is how you would do it out on the street. I'm going to give you each one of these. Okay, you are going to be my testers and we're going to see whether or not you go to jail. You ready? Okay. So what we're going to do is just take a little bit, when you open up your package there, Now we're going to not jam it up with a whole bunch of stuff, but we're going to put some of it in there, if you don't mind. Sure. Just a little bit more. There you go. Good. Good. All right. Then what you're going to do is you're going to shove it with the loading stick, the high-tech loading stick, uh, down to the bottom, please. Okay. You ready to go? That's okay. They have vacuums. All right. And that's probably good. All right. Now you do the high-tech loading. All right, your fate's in your hands, my friend. So what we're going to do is we're going to seal up the top. Just push it all the way down the bottom. You got it. Okay, break that left most ampule. Yep, go ahead, break it. Just with, crush it with your fingers. Agitate it like it says. Let's get the, you don't want to get the chemicals on you. Do the same thing. Okay. 
Okay, done it for a minute. Now let's go ahead and crack the middle one. And then what we're going to do next is see whether or not it turns purple and you go to jail. So hit that last one. Hold your breath. Okay, I'm passing around one that I did immediately before this because it's going to take a, about 30 seconds for it to develop. Purple at the bottom. So what you have to do, let's try it up a little bit, but what you have to do is you have to take a look at it and this is a false positive on a screening device because of coffee. Yeah, you're going to jail. Look at this. I mean, she's done. Forget about it. All right, that's about as purple as that guy's shirt over there. So let's pass it around and take a look at it. Purple, he's done too. Thank you to our volunteers. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, you know, this is, and I'll pass around the rest of these kits. I don't want to bring back with me uh, to, to Harrisburg. I got a bunch of them and the, the high-tech loading devices. Let's get those going around too. But the bottom line of it is, it's just like John was saying earlier, that you have people that are being arrested or put in jail um, you know, that, uh, for even longer periods of time because we as a defense bar have refused or been scared to learn the science of it all. And we need to learn the science of it in order to be effective for our clients. It's not shame on, uh, at least in my opinion, it's not shame on the traffic cop um, he's there to do his job, and uh, it's shame on us for not learning it. So we want to start talking about objective versus subjective. It's pretty simple. Everyone knows what objective means. It means, you know, like if you're standing outside, you don't have any bias, and it's empirical. It is what it is. And then you have subjective, which is interpreted by an individual potentially based upon um, bias, confirmation bias, and it's subject to interpretation. It's, it's something that is not, it's fungible. It's something that is variable. One person takes a look at a cloud and says, that one looks like a bunny rabbit. Another person takes a look at the same cloud and says, that looks like a turtle. A third one says a rocket ship. Fourth person says nothing at all. So that's the difference that's there. In science, and what we need to demand in the courtroom is to get away from this hocus-pocus, make-believe, subjective, science that's going on out there and we need to move more towards the objective part of it and that's only going to come by us uh, forcing it as a defense bar 